Welcome to another video guys. It's Jared at MBI Motorsports. We are back on day three. Um, obviously we got the French dog, or sorry, the French Bulldog shop dog here with us. Uh, waiting for Chris to get here in just a little bit. And uh, we're gonna be knocking out um, the Bronco body, day three. Um, you can take a look here, see what we got. Obviously, we're right where we left off on Friday, and we are going to be in a few hours. We're in a late start. Chris had some stuff he was doing with his other business, and uh, you know, hopefully, we're able to get some some progress done. We did get our our rear stake post, uh, our tailgate post, um, in the mail this morning, and so hopefully we'll be able to knock out the driver side. This is the passenger side quarter panel. So we do need to get the other one knocked out and get these things put together. Obviously we're going to be assembling them right here. And uh, so yeah, hopefully everything goes smooth today. Um, so we got a late start, I think it's about 1.30 right about now. And we've got to take off about 5.30. So hopefully we'll get some stuff knocked out. Um, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated and enjoy some of the time lapse. So we're getting a little closer. It's got time to weld. As you can see, we have a ratchet strap wrapped all the way around it. Suck everything tight where it needs to be. Just a couple clamps holding it where, where it needs to be, but uh, all the lines line up. Inside here, it's the support bracket that you put in. This is where it holds exactly where it's supposed to be. That is in there perfect now. Uh, and then once we weld it, we'll be able to take all this off and we'll fold the rest of it square. Like I said, we squeezed it. We trimmed it, we did everything to make it fit. None of this is ever right. So we're gonna get to welding. Um, we'll weld it, we'll grind it, and then, uh, yeah, that might be the end of our day today. All right, thanks guys. So we made a little bit of progress. Hopefully in the time lapse you guys are able to see what we did there. Got the tweaking. Uh, we got all this done. There's a few spots here where there are some exposed welds. No way of hiding those. Uh, but in the rear light bucket here, you can see we welded pretty much everything from the inside upside down. Not much to be seen. Uh, that was benefit, no grinding, uh, and less body work when it does go out for paint. Over here there is a, there is a bit of grinding that needs to be done in some of these areas. As you can tell by some of the heat marks, we did do as many welds as we could on the inside. But the fitment's great. Uh, we built that over there, set it in place, three clamps, and it sits in place. So I guess we'll get started on the other side and get that one uh, going, probably uh, finish it up tomorrow. And then, uh, I guess at that point, we'll start fitting the doors. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow, I think our plan is gonna be getting that rear quarter done, getting these doors fitted so we can get the A-pillar uh, tacked into place. And Jared, I guess we need to do the, the tailgate as well. Yep, yep. So we'll do that. Mind you, the firewall still has zero welds. Just tech screwed in. Um, just to make everything, make sure everything aligns just right. But uh, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, get the other quarter, get the doors, get the tailgate, and uh, it'll start looking like a real Bronco at that point. All right, guys, 
Have a good night, and uh, we'll see you in the morning.